The one thing I will say about getting in love is, is, and I'll equate it to some really good writing advice. And, and it was Bukowski who said, the best thing to do if you really want to write well is don't try. And you know what he meant by that, I think, is, is that don't set out and put all this pressure on yourself and be like, I need to write the best piece of work that's ever been done right now. I mean, you know, it's good to have goals, but it's also just like, it's hard when you kind of have that like block of, of like, this needs to be amazing to write something amazing for me personally. And I know a lot of other people. And so the kind of idea of like, don't try, just like enjoy it, love it, like find your love for writing and, and then the flow will come, I think is a really powerful advice. And as it equates to love is the moment you stop looking so aggressively for a love is, is so often when it arrives. And I think it's important to say that it's like, it's not about like not looking for love or putting blocks up for love, but it's like taking kind of pressure off yourself, working on yourself, which I think is, is the most powerful thing you can do because, and I'm like, I've done this too. And I think a lot of us have done this is like, sometimes when we're not feeling like completely ourselves or pieces are missing, we're so desperate to find someone to kind of fill those gaps in our soul. And I think it's, it's a really the wrong way to enter a relationship yeah. or to search for a relationship. I think the best thing you can possibly do is work on yourself and get to know yourself so well, feel so comfortable, so confident, so happy being yourself and like showing up in the world. And that energy that you create once you've kind of are going in that direction, it's intoxicating. It's like this person is so comfortable with being themselves and I want that in my, you know, in my life. And you you radiate it. And so I've always seen the people who are just like hustling for themselves. You know, it's like they've got balance and, and they're coming into the world as a whole person. Those are the people that just like, whether they like it or not, just fall, fall into a relationship, you know, even if they're not searching for it. And so that's like kind of my best honest advice about, <laughs> about how to find, find love. I truly do believe yeah. that. And I know that it's worked for me and so many other people that I know that are in strong relationships. And then staying in love, I think it's, um, it sounds trite, but it's working on it all the time. It's like, it's like doing the work. It's progressing yourself all the time. You know, I find like I'm always like searching for like the next kind of growth class or like experience that I think will make me a better person, show up as a better person in the world. I'm always trying to optimize for, for kind of like family and relationship and, and kind of long-term happiness. And I think that's about balance and trust and safety. And one of the greatest hacks, I think that that's completely overshadowed off, often or forgotten is that, especially for, for men, I think, I think it, some men find this almost impossible. And it's, it's unfortunately just a product of how our generation was raised. And it's not the boy's fault. It's just how, how we were raised, but it's like the inability to be vulnerable. And the, the idea that vul vulnerability is like a weakness. And I truly believe that the only way you can really find connection, true connection, true love is through like trust and vulnerability. The more vulnerable you are, you're kind of giving pieces yourself to each other. That's very, very powerful. <laughs>